That's better. <laughs> it was this time last year, no, it wasn't this time last year, it was July last year that I started my YouTube channel. And I had to think about going to South Bank. I just love the atmosphere in South Bank. I like going, we normally used to go there late afternoon or the evening. I like the fact that most people who'd finished work were just relaxing on the benches, chilling out and having a cold drink or a bite to eat. It was really encouraging. So I'd done a few videos and I remember someone was watching me film and I thought fair enough. And then after I'd finished filming he came up to me and said, asked me what I was doing. I explained to him what I was doing. And he said to me that I would feel like a complete idiot if I was just standing there filming with a phone. <laughs> Don't you feel like a complete idiot? Something like that. And I thought to myself, I thought to myself, couldn't he maybe come up with something more encouraging like uh, ask me what my YouTube channel's about? Well done, you know, if you're using your initiative, that's really encouraging. Something like that. I mean, how about you? If you've been in a situation where you've wanted to create something, build something, and you haven't really had all the equipment that you've needed, but because you've got the idea, you've pushed yourself to start <laughs> and, and try and build something. Don't forget to comment on my page let, to let me know, or uh, to welcome us and Roberts to like and even share. Don't forget to press the notification button so that all the videos that I do come up and running straight to you, because I remember before Christmas, I was, got chosen to work on a music video and it was a group of young black men that were putting a video together and the thing I liked about it it was a positive video I didn't hear any swearing or anything like that in it and when we had to break one of them or some of them were talking about when they first started they just started taking the videos with just a phone and they had to make so much effort to create an atmosphere and to, to do the, for the lighting and everything like that but gradually, bit by bit, they suddenly built up the equipment that they needed. And to be honest, they had so much equipment there. I'd never really seen so much equipment. It was amazing. They even had a light man, you know, someone who made sure that the light was, light, the light was okay, etc. I was really impressed and really inspired. But those are the stories that really inspire me. Those are the stories that really inspire me. Stories that people start from down here and slowly build themselves up. You know, um, and it's amazing how people can react to you when you are down there, slowly building yourself up. And some people can look at the situation, look at what you're trying to achieve, and not have any faith in what you're doing at all. Afternoon, ladies. Afternoon. <laughs> I'm right Thank you. Um, and it's really inspiring. And when I'm in situations like that, you know something, it really pushes me to to prove that I'm going to achieve what I want to achieve. It might not be exactly what I want to achieve, but because I know that I'm trying, and because you know that you're trying, you're going to achieve something. So it's all encouraging. But I thought I'd just share that with you. Oh, it's really busy today. We've come out a bit later, and I've just stunned myself with some stinging nettles. So I'm going to go and sort myself up. But I'll speak to you soon. You take care. Bye-bye.